G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Stationeers with these four lunatics and their commander in charge, me! Oh no! What? Yeah, Scrubber, it's out of power, we're all gonna die! It'll be fine. I think. Uh, what is the oxygen, or oh, the air makeup in here? No, we've, we've only got, we've got nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. We are fine. We're actually oh, no. kind of high on the oxygen side of things. We may need to get some more CO2 for this place at some point. But that is not for now. For now, if uh, I recall, Shadow, we were working on maybe some sort of temperature regulation set up for here and you were going to try and get some of the seeds from these crops as well. Nev, you were working on power stuff? Question mark? Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was up to. You were... Like, you got together the big panels and you were potentially going to continue expanding that, I thought. Yeah, well, people have to monitor how much power we currently use. Yeah, yeah. And Kabak, what were you doing? Yes. Excellent. Do you want to help TFE with what he's doing, which he's demonstrating by the giant drill in his hand? Oh, I am. Hunger critical. Uh, TFE, where's your he, belt? He's also got a can of brown spray paint. Yeah, I don't know why he's got that. Yeah. Maybe he's painting some graffiti. Maybe. I misunderstood your sorting system, Shadow, sorry. Oh, you just rolled your eyes at me as I said that too. <laughs> Alright, well, my helmet's locked, I'm ready to depart. You are a bit too close to my face there. I smell it bad. It is quite cosy. Ah, let me out! What? Why are you standing on the plants? To know Ooh. how plants work, you need to be one with the plants. I you am blooming. 20 flares on the ground. Well, I very much don't know how plants work, because apparently all I see here are seeds, but you guys all tell me they're plants, so... Apparently I'm broken. Oh, that's right. Nev fixed the airlock. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nev, um, are you prepared for a future of fixing my, my mistakes <laughs> as we go along? I forgot why the airlock broke. Oh, right. One of the cables burned, right? Um, I'm not sure. It was just... It It did something weird. It did something very weird. But it might have I been that I replaced the cables it. and it started working again. Although I didn't see any visual burns. So... Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. It we should back. be fine for now. Yeah, yeah. Shadow, if we're going to do some sort of temperature regulation setup in here, one of the options that I quite like is creating a bit of a thermal buffer. So one of the effective ways to do that is to have a water pipe system in here that has radiators on it. The idea being that the water pipe system in here has a whole lot of moles of something that takes a lot of energy to gain temperature. And so the temperature rise in here will be much slower, giving us the ability to control the temperature in here better than it would be otherwise. And, you know, take our time with air conditioning. I trust you completely and I totally know what you're talking about. So either we can use water or we can try and get something from the atmosphere and perhaps pump that in. Uh, do you want to come outside with me? Sure. Also, be sure to close your helmet. Isn't it closed? Ooh. No, it's not. Oh. Water does have the highest energy storage. It does. So. However, we need to clean the atmosphere. So I was thinking, why don't we pressurize as much of the pollutant in the atmosphere as possible and use that simply because it's a way to store it for us at the moment. And it will be beneficial as well. Yeah, that was I my like thinking. I like what you're thinking. Pollutant is, is, I think, second best for power this, uh, energy storage, so it's I, probably fine anyway. It's not great. I, I'm not sure that it is second best, but it, it is something we're otherwise going to be throwing away. Uh, like, did you want to build a better foundry, or should I do that while you're busy? Um, yeah, why don't you, um... I figured one with the tank where you don't have to throw ice in and have a... Yeah. ...simple mixer to make a tank full of fuel is probably a good idea. Yeah, I think that that certainly has some significant benefits. So you can actually use it during the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah this was this i just plopped down quickly so we could get that early steel that makes such a big difference yeah, with getting fine. the extra batteries and the solar panels and things what if we start needing solder and stuff uh, we probably want a better setup yeah uh the other thing we're gonna need to do is what is capac doing 
Build some building. Printing sheets. Yeah, he is doing some building. Um, so, Shadow, where did you get to? Right behind you all, I'm being pushed by Kappa. He's a very pushy fellow. Uh, Capek, do keep in mind that the sun should probably not be blocked too much from the windows. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we need the sun to get to the plants. What we're going to need to do is, similarly to our gas setup here to try and give us clean oxygen to put in our tanks, uh, we're going to need to get some filters and filter out the X from the atmosphere and put it into a tank. Could I go get a filter now? Um, yeah, so what we do, if you go to the Atmos print here, and grab some pollutant filters. Do we want a medium one or a small one? Currently we have the choice between a normal filter and a medium filter. Can we afford the medium so, one though? What does it take? Uh, when did I see that again? We need silver and constant. And yeah, so we don't ooh. have constant yet, so <laughs> we definitely can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Until Nev has made a furnace that we can control more accurately, we won't be making something like constant 10. So we'll just be making the small ones. How many? Uh, two. There's just enough iron in there for two filters. Yep, and I'm smelting some more so that we can make up the other stuff. Alright, I made a little shed for this machinery. <laughs> okay, Kavak. Do you want to help TFE with the resource collection and organization? Uh, not really. It's very dark. Yeah, so I hope I'm not lost. <laughs> so, the other stuff we need from the Atmos printer, we're going to need a um, atmospherics kit, which requires 5 gold and 20 copper, which we don't have, so we're going to have to smelt some of that down. Um, not to worry anyone, but it would seem we have a mole among us. I think Capac's digging his hole again. But no, there was some gold right here. I don't know why nobody yeah. dug it up. Uh, where are we putting ores these days? Into the appropriately coloured belt. Oh, uh, what? Alright, I'm just going to put it here until they're sorted out. Can you use them up? Is there, is there anything left on the landers, by the way? I, any, any spare bits I would have put in one of these cupboards. I mean, like the doors that are in here and the sensors and the data disk and the airlock and the egg carton and the... There's heaps of stuff oh, still in these. Some, some stuff still in here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need to get some lockers. I just fell in a hole. <laughs> Can we disassemble the full lander? That's a pretty big... Oh, Nev, are you going to set up shoots for this too? Yeah, I figured I will do it right. Okay. <laughs> uh, what materials do we need for the advanced furnace? Oh, I think it's pretty, pretty expensive. Um, quick question. Are all of the machines supposed to be on? Like the auto lathe and such? We have plenty of power at the moment. Oh yeah, we've got to make Electrum silver. Uh, Electrum and solder for it. So the Electrum will be the challenging part. Alright, so Shadow, we've now got enough to make an atmospherics unit. Oh? Uh... Yeah, I was wondering how we would make that. I didn't see any of the recipes. Uh... It's called Kit Atmospherics. Ah, it's looking at the wrong thing then. Yeah, so that, that builds filtration units, air conditioners, and a bunch of other things. It can be quite hard to find things if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, basic stuff is also in multiple machines. For example, chutes I can make in the pipe bender in the autolase. And sometimes just quicker in one of them. Okay, so we've got an atmospherics kit. Let's see what we need for a tank. Ah, uh, now we're talking. What are we going to blow up first? So let's build a tank. We may need more than one kit, we'll have a look. Because we may want to build a big tank. Since this is kind of our beginning of terraforming. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Humble beginnings. It's humble beginnings, yes. <laughs> we don't even have a habitat yet. Yeah. Yeah, but this is going to help us build the habitat. Uh, we'll probably need to decide where we're going to build this system. Even though we'll probably have to move it later. Nev, since you're going to be off-gassing bad stuff like pollutant, uh, shall we start with this relatively close to the furnace system? Look, that's a medical condition oh, sure. and he's very sensitive <laughs> about it. <laughs> um, so I was thinking if Shadow and I start building over here, 
suppose it makes sense if we actually want to clean up this place. I don't want to air all my gas just into the atmosphere from the furnace, right? Yeah, yeah. So we'll want to create a cooling tank for your off gases as well. So maybe I'll print off another two tanks so that you can put a, you'll have a cooling tank and then we can separate from it. Can you, uh, do you see any um, iron frames hanging around anywhere? Uh, there nice. were a couple in one of those cabinets that I was using to make Oh, the walls. what happened to this cabinet? Oh, this hurts. What? I no, it was never. <laughs> barely nothing to what? it. Okay, Wait. well, first of all, these can be combined. This, this is a general dumping cabinet. I think, don't think it was ever sorted. I thought that oh, was all the Shadow, cabinets. Shadow's been around. Everything has been sorted at some point. Shadow, have you seen any iron sheets or cap active? Were we out of those? Uh, I couldn't find any, so I just made the few that I needed. Okay. I do not see any iron sheets in these lockers. So. I'll get some more done. How goes the mining, TFE? Um, pretty good. I'm curious as to who's not putting the ores into the mining cap belts. Yeah. <laughs> Is the color coding too complicated? Well, they, won't, they won't finish being set up when I put stuff in. That's not true. Yes, it is. People are still messing with them. No, Tiffy was putting stuff that he'd just mined away in them. Mm, likely story. I now have my personal mining belt, so I don't have to keep stealing one from the lockers. Oh yeah, when we get the nicer materials, one of the first things I think we should do is get TFE a better mi mining belt and better mining tool. Ooh. Yeah, it advanced really pretty I think, nice. I, I feel like I feel like as the resource collector, he's more than earned the best tools. Because wow, does it make a big difference when you get the better mining, uh, mining drill. Shadow, um, have the plants grown to the point that they can be harvested for seeds? Would have been nice if you asked that five seconds ago. <laughs> Were you just inside? Yep. Uh, they're growing toward fruitlings, and quite poorly so. Okay, so they don't um, they don't say that you can harvest seeds from them yet. Nope. Cool. Uh, do you want to get back to the aircon stuff, or are you busy doing something else? Yeah, we can do the aircon stuff. I'm done sorting everything because you guys make messes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm trying. I'm try The reason I, I'm trying to get you involved with the aircon stuff is, I'm trying to make it so that the only thing you do so that you're doing more than just sorting our mess it's a full-time job it is <laughs> wait how many tanks do i need for the big tank five but the big tank is like yeah i was gonna make a big tank three by three cubes or something it's it's gigantic yeah that's what we want though there's a lot oh, of oh sure there's a lot of poison gas to pressurize just gonna see if it is five. Yeah, it's five. Okay, five's probably doable. Hmm. Is the water bottle filler not on? Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Maybe it's out of water. Uh, it is possible it's out of water. Oh, wait, ah. Ah. No, no, there's there's a thousand moles of like there's plenty of water in the system, so it's probably switched off. There should be a switch on it somewhere, TFA. Oh, oh wow. That oh, it's outside. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm outside. Controls are outside. No, no, no it's on this right hand there. side. I can see it. It's red. Where? Oh, hide it on the far side of the thing. Well, so the bottles were the right way up. Is it safe to leave the filler on or should I turn it off once it's finished? Uh, you can turn it off when it's finished. But yeah. we should still be cautious about our power usage. Uh, never just put the tank there, but you can move it to where it suits for you. Oh, it's probably fine. I'm putting the fuel up. generation on the other side. All right, Shadow, have you got the other bits of our atmospheric setup that we were going to do? Yes, I have the air conditioner or filtration plant and electrolyzer. Yeah, so what we need is a filter, uh, the filtration setup. Yes. And we want to set it up near it? this tank here that I'm going to paint yellow. Right, so this is the tank it's got to go into. Yeah. Uh, so where does the filtered gas come out? Ah, who can... Is it everything okay? Yep, I'm okay. Nev was just pushing me around. Ah. So as you put it down, the input's on the right. 
the unfiltered gas comes out the front, which is fine, and the filtered gas comes out the left. So we could probably just oh, put this okay. down directly in front of the tank, as it is. Because that's Excellent. kind of arranged nicely for it. Yay, power saving. Oh, that, oh! You saw nothing. You accidentally take off your suit. Nope, never happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. So we want to move this, right? Yeah, Before yeah. I do anything rash? Okay. Yeah, I think, I think putting it in front of the tank with the output so we can do a short pipe to the tank would be a good start. Yeah. That's an air conditioner. Oh. oh. So what we're going to want to do is have a couple of input vents so that we can get as much gas going into this as possible. But we can just use passive vents because this thing can take can do all of the pressurizing. Oh. Yeah, power is going to be a bit difficult to yeah, we've got to move this one thing forward. This is too close to the tank. Yeah. Volatile ice and oxygen ice is pure, right? Or do I need no. to filter it? Uh, oxygen is not pure. You will have nitrogen in it. Ah, so that's not good. Volatiles are pure, though. I do need to filter it. That's annoying. Yeah. If you want to get the ratios perfect, yeah, you do need to filter it. But... You can just pump the nitrogen out into the atmosphere because we want to add nitrogen to the atmosphere. How many fans do we want? Uh, we want probably three to start off with. We'll see if we need more <laughs> uh, of the passive ones. Yep. So with the atmosphere that we're trying to suck in, it operates on cells the same way as the base does. So what we want to do is put a vent in two separated cells so that we can suck air more air in more quickly on cells what do you mean with that does that make sense kind of like a voxel ah so you're standing in a different cell to the one i'm standing in and now you're standing in a different cell so it's oh i see what you mean so each block is a different cell yeah okay so so what i was thinking one... we could do uh, with pipes, if you've got them, if you've got the pipe in hand and in your off hand you have a wrench, you can modify pipes that are down and add to them like that. Right. Uh, so we could maybe put down, can we put a vent right against this machine? So it's less of a trip hazard? Yeah. And then we could maybe do... So, one quick question. If you have it overlapping multiple cells, does it occupy both cells? Or those uh, cells? I don't actually know. What if we try to find that out right now? I don't think we've got the setup necessary to accurately tell that. Uh, I think we'd need like a more carefully arranged test bed for that. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> it is the fun Glad of I building wasn't pipes. standing there. It's watching them explode. As long as they're not laid down and filled with gas, I'm sure it's fine <laughs> if they explode like that. True. No, no. Okay. What, what am I stuck on? Sure. Now. <laughs> so yeah, in theory, uh, this is now set up once you put the filters in. Oh, let's not take the one from my suit. So the reason for the double filters is so that they last a bit longer, so that we don't have to replace mm -hmm. them so quickly. If you turn that on now, this Do tank should power? start getting some, some pollutant in it. Yeah, there we go. We're up to 20 moles already. At 15.87 degrees, it's going down. So if you get out your, your analyzer, you can see what's kind of happening around here. That we're slowly, slowly, slowly starting to shift. <laughs> we probably won't see any meaningful difference in the atmospheric pressures of anything for a long while yet. But at least this is a small start. Yeah. It does give us a reason to build a giant terraforming tower. Yes, it does. And I love that. I I am so looking forward to that. Like once we're once we've got our survival needs sorted, the industry we're going to build is going to be so much fun. I'm looking forward to it. I guess a factory person, I uh, <laughs> I approve. So what we need to do now is connect this pollutant system into our greenhouse, without it becoming, without it being at risk of mixing with the greenhouse air. 
Right, so if we do that, would it be smart to maybe have a gas that we can safely vent into the greenhouse, just in case, whilst we work on that system? That's sort of why I liked to use water for the greenhouse cooling, but I think we should be fine. All we gotta do is just make sure that we don't overpressurize this and explode it. And it's gonna take a lot. Uh, so even if you take out the pipe, it doesn't automatically vent yeah. into the space. No, it Only doesn't. Only if you actually burst the pipes, then yeah. it vents. So this is in aid of cooling the greenhouse, right? Correct. Can't you just have the pipes like running past the greenhouse, and then have the actual like heat exchange? You could do a heat exchange thing, yes, but I figure for the sake of simplicity, considering uh, even stuff like the insulated pipes are relatively expensive at the moment. Uh, we just run some pipes in through the floor and then back out and just have them connected up because it effectively creates a heat exchange with a large heat sink. Because like in this tank, we've got uh, almost a kilomole of pollutant. A kilomole? Yeah, kilomoles. We're all doomed. It could be worse. Blackshirt doesn't have a spine. Yeah, oh, Blackshirt right. has taken her backpack off. She hasn't put it back on. And there's a skull what? attached to her foot? What? <laughs> no, she's holding it's my the skull. Sports skull. <laughs> he's doing her Shakespeare impression. I must be seeing something very <laughs> different. To be or not to be dead like DFE. Because Blackshirt is currently a floating belt, a floating helmet, and a floating backpack. Yeah, that's just you, TV. Yeah. You are... Don't worry, I'm on a you're... diet. It's you're... fine. <laughs> You have the space crazies. Mm. Oh, we it's should check on the plants. gases that are swelling around. Oh, right. uh, the gases are swelling around because we made them swell around. At least, the, at least I can see the rice is growing. Yeah, but they are growing poorly. Oh, because it's dark. Oh, jeez. And it's 31 degrees Celsius in here. Oh, yeah, that's okay for the plants. So these aren't ready Don't... for harvesting yet for their seeds. So yeah, I guess we head back outside. Enough. Don't forget to close your helmets. Oh yeah. At least Ruin plants... seems to take forever. Thank you, Shadow. You have kept me alive a couple of times now. You're welcome. Are there meant to be two slots in these that don't have anything growing in them? Yes. Are those stairs I suddenly see? Yeah, Capac's yeah. built stairs. Yeah. Yeah, it was annoying yeah. me how difficult it was to get up to the top, so I built the staircase. I see you want to make spying on the people inside easier. Yeah. So Shadow, how do you want to pipe into the how do you want to get this pipe system from the pollutant tank to the inside connected up? Maybe underneath the voxel? Or underneath the platform, I mean? Uh, that will require dismantling the platform to get in there. And if we per burst it, we mm. won't be able to get easily in to repair it. Right. So there are some downsides to that, but we we could for now run it around the side here. And keep oh, you it could down do, low. You could do overhead yeah. pipes. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can do overhead as well. Because the pipes don't need support. Need some pre-planning, maybe for the for the big actual greenhouse that we are eventually building. <laughs> yeah, once we start building in steel and building properly rather than just this, which is a temporary structure. We can actually plan stuff beforehand. <laughs> because we actually <laughs> know what we are doing, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Sort of. I mean, maybe. It's very dubious. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if my fuel generator works. It's night, so I can actually play with ice. We could even, like, poke it through. Like, we can run them on the floor. They can be on the floor in there. And then we can put some floor grates down and um, cover them up. Oh. Oh, so yeah. flying pipes. Yes, you did. I'm getting pipes for Shadow. For gases, for gases, I think we should all agree to use the same color on any pipes or things like that as their filter sticker color. So nitrogen is green. You lose. Fuel is a mix, so it gets its no, orange. It's black. Uh, yeah, green. So you don't accidentally pump volatiles into the air type bit or something. Yeah, and volatiles is pink. Uh, can you do that with the gas cylinders as well? Yep. Yeah. That's why I painted the mixed cylinder brown and the pollutant cylinder yellow, or the big tanks, I mean. Yeah, it's fuel is, is orange, that's why I asked for it earlier. Yeah. I thought Even though it's a, it's a mix right. color, so... Yeah, so uh, this, this, this canister that's in the filler here, can we paint it orange? Yeah, yeah. we'll probably throw it on the ground and then... Whoa! Oh. 
Whoa! Oh. Yeah, we we'll probably throw it on the ground and then. Whoa! Oh. Um, what just? Whoa! Oh. What um, just? Did you just kill the back? I killed myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe get back. Uh, uh, I am unconscious. Apparently. Oh, oh, can we save him? I'm... Can we? Do we hang on, yes. please. please help. Hang on. No, he's deceased. <laughs> there has been an accident. I'm afraid oh no. Nev has been All killed. All our blood exploded. Oh. Yeah, where did, did, where, where did he go? Oh, well, I Why found is he suddenly here? I was trying to bring him inside so I could take his suit off. Wait, but I've got him. No, I had him. I've got him. What? Bring him in here. That's what? Nev. He, he had, that, you've got Nev. I had Kabak. Ow. I, okay. I'm dead. Yeah. I don't look like I'm down moving. And, like, so I can loot my Kabak stuff. was unconscious. Yeah. Who's got Kabak? Where is he? Kabak is no longer unconscious. He's just standing there menacing me. I've just got a dialogue box that says, you are unconscious, do you want to give up and respawn? No, I... Cancel. Oh, oh no, I'm alive. Okay, come back. Grab Ooh. this, grab the tape, grab the tape. What? I believe you've probably got damage to your suit. Go into the greenhouse. Also, that, that's creepy, Nev. <laughs> Wreckage arc furnace. Yep, that describes what happened. Um, so Nev... <laughs> I think the tank I put in there was overpressured, and uh, as yeah. I took it out of the stand, it exploded. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I think so. Explosion for you to destroy all these things. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good good effort. And I found him like probably thirty or forty meters on the. You've destroyed our. You've destroyed our arc <laughs> furnace too, and all of TFE's ore. We have another one. <laughs> uh, how do I tell if my suit needs repairs? Uh. It usually has like damage indicators on the icons on the left. I don't see anything. Okay, you might be okay. Well, a pill has restored me from 5% health. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed with how far Nev flew. Like, he was a good probably 50 meters on the other side of the landing pod. I was wondering if there was going to be something catastrophic, Nev's. A much more cautious person than I consider myself to be, so I was surprised that that happened. I didn't pay attention to the pressure. I didn't think it was already enough to <laughs> overpressure the tank. Uh, so we've got a problem. We have no furnace. There was another arc furnace in the lander. All right, I'm gonna, gonna see if I can we find don't it, have cause... any ores either. So I think, yeah, we don't have any ores. So every every single thing vanish? that here, yeah, you vaporize them. So I just wasted my time. <laughs> uh, Nev just wasted your time. Well, <laughs> guess I'm heading out again then. Oh, we're gonna make another mining belt. <laughs> Actually, wait, no. Shadow, are you happy to work on this fill, this cooling setup? Uh, and when Nev's functional again, I'll we can work together, and Nev and I can do the furnace. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, I found something. Uh. Uh, oh. I found yep. a, a gas canister down in a cave and I'm afraid to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. Yeah, I I do wonder if those ores are scattered to the ends. The high heavens. To the end of the world. Uh, Don't I cross found, the pipes. I found some arc furnace wreckage. Yep. What do I do with it? Um, Throw it away. We can't like, we can't smelt it down or anything? Uh, we may be able to smelt it down later, but by then it won't be worth doing. I wouldn't worry about it coming. There's a bunch of wreckage up on the roof of the building. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I wanted to drag it outside so it doesn't dig up the place, but... <laughs> well, I was waiting for the skull, because we need to make sure we have everybody's skulls from all of their <laughs> previous clones. Wait, well, uh, where's the other lander? I dismantled the other lander. It was empty. Oh. I, th I thought it was a... <laughs> an another... An another victim of the explosion. I mean, you get fired past it. Up to wow. Oh, did you want to... <laughs> I'm not sure what you're... Doing. No, the, the polite thing to do is ask. Come on. We check the big hole below if there's stuff that's left after the explosion. 
You almost slapped me with that body. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't trying to slap you with Nev, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so the more pipe, the better? Generally speaking, yes. But I'm just going to check if we can make a radiator. Pipe radiator. It's gold and steel. Okay, it's just gold and steel. We can make some radiators. Um, so if you lay some straight sections of pipe, I'll throw some radiators into you once I figure out which one of these still has some steel in it. All the machines are damaged. Yeah, you did a number on everything. I think we need to make the furnace a bit further away. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the furnace that blew up. Maybe all these gas yeah. systems need to be further away from Shadow. the machinery. Shadow, over here. There you go, there's a couple of radiators. Thank you. So that's all we can really afford to make at the moment. If you just put them in those two cells, that'll help cool the greenhouse. What is this I'm, stuff? I'm actually surprised that literally vaporized the contents of the lockers. Yeah. I mean, they could be on the other side of the, the map. <laughs> could maybe. Be. <laughs> I, might, I might go help TFE with some of that. Um, yeah, we'll probably go mining as well. We definitely need some new resources. I've just run into some technical problems trying to find my way back home. Um, uh, okay, TFE, do you have your tracker module for your thing? I do not. What? Actually, wait, why have I not even why got it on me? Why do you not have me? your tracker module for your tablet? Oh, wait. Hang on. Tool belt. I've got the handheld tablet. I've got the Atmo analyzer and the network analyzer. Of all people, you should be the one carrying the tracker module. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'll go find him. Yeah. We don't want to get two people lost. Capac doesn't get lost like that. And you know if I'm giving him credit for something, it's probably true. Uh, also, I have located the beacon, so what? Capac, make sure you've got your tracker just in case. What is that? Warning? Oh, I might need it after I get lost uh, mining. <laughs> Am I doing something differently with the waste tank now? Why is there a corpse here? It's Nev. I thought it was yeah. inside. No, he's I'll outside. Put it outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, do I do I do something special with my waste tank, or do I just empty it into the air? Uh, you empty it into the greenhouse, and That's... then you check the gases in the greenhouse, or Shadow will. Oh, Shadow. Uh, I've got yep. a battery for you to put into the scrubber in there. Oh, yep. I was just about to use my uh, drill battery for uh, that. Did you empty the scrubber at some point? No, but its pressure's not too bad yet, is it? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, best to check. We had one pressure explosion I, already. I thought there oh, was some... 76 millipascal. I thought there was some issue pesco? with my waste tank oh. having bad gases or something that we didn't want. Yeah, it is, but that's why green. the scrubber's in there. And of course, my overpressure tank not only contained a lot of gas, it also contained fuel. Yes, uh, which means there's now fuel. Although, maybe the fuel's... There's no fuel in the... You probably burned up and there's more X oh, right, in, the, yeah, of course it did. in the atmosphere. Yeah, there is more X in the atmosphere. It was 45%. It's now 49.3. From one small fuel explosion? Yep. Uh, oh, boy. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, TFE, do you know where you are yet? Um, I know... Hmm, if you give me the... We need like a reference point on the base for the angle of the sun, because then I could figure out where I am. The sun is setting to... Wait, how do I give you an angular reference? Um, say relative to the door to inside. So if you're looking from the inside, looking outside the door to go to the end. So if you're standing inside, the sun just set to my right. Standing inside the airlock, looking out sun just set to my right okay got a rough uh, idea then can you see any big mountains um that's mainly what i've been looking for because i know the base is near one all right i've lit a flare and i'm going to throw it straight up on the top of this mountain can you see any flares oh, come back i'm standing at the bottom bottom of the mountain and i can't see the flare <laughs> oh yes i can TFE, did you see that? Nope. No. Uh, I'm on top of the big mountain near the base. Oh, and it suddenly turned pitch black. Uh, Spets, we might have a slight problem. The What's temperature that? inside the tank is at minus one. Yes. So I dismantled the radiators before it got too cold in the greenhouse. What temperature is it in the greenhouse? 
It is currently 24, rounded up. Okay, so what we need is a system to regulate the transfer of gas in and out of there, don't we? Regulate the temperature transfer, I should say. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. If we want that, what we can do is put a valve in so that we can just turn the valve on and off when we want it to cool down. Ah, and is that something we can automate later? Yeah. Whoa. There's a valve over here in the locker. If you Wait, why, is my, why is my temperature low? If you want to waste lots of power, you can also use just electric AC, which you can set the temperature. Yeah, which we'll do later. But for now, I, but yeah, I like this passive costly. system. Probably. The atmospheric stuff uses a lot of power. It does, it does. It is quite menacing with that flare, though. I still can't see it. Let's have a menacing glow. How far away did you go? I don't know. I, I, why is my temperature critical? I've got power. The angle information relative to north should give me a rough direction. Well, unless you're already that way past the base. In which case, it's the opposite. <sighs> what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to isolate the inside from the outside, right? Yeah. Oh. So if we remove this straight section of pipe and put a valve there... What? You'll isolate the two systems. Why is the air uh, scrubber possessed? It's fine. <laughs> uh, it's scrubbing the air, don't worry. So if you use your wrench to remove that, yep. And then pop the valve in. Uh, is there any sidedness that I need to... Yeah, you want the lever pointing <laughs> outward. Outward. So we can actually adjust so... it. Up, what up happens is fine. in lever position, the valve is just it's a two-way valve, so it doesn't have any in No, no, but direction. you need to be able to reach the lever. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Does it make sense why I suggested to do this? So we can just turn off the pipe so it doesn't cool down the greenhouse any further. Yeah, so if we leave that off and you go and put the radiators back inside, then you can just leave the radiators, and then when you need it to cool down, you come out here, come out here and turn it on. When it's cooled down enough, you come out here and turn it off. It obviously would be more okay. convenient if it were inside. Uh, so we could put this on one of the pipes inside instead, if you think that's better. Uh, if we're going to do that, now would probably be a good time since I'm going inside anyway. All right, you're still outside. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to do that. I just thought about that as I was, <laughs> as we were here. I was like, oh, actually, it's probably better if this is inside uh, where we can see the temperature of the greenhouse. Okay, again, my temperature is just instantly dropping the second I go outside. Um... Kabak, what does your waste tank say? I just emptied it. What does your air tank say? I just filled it up. It says 5,600 kilopascals. The what temperature are you of it, maybe? Of the air? But I'm just outside, like the rest of you. I mean, in, the, in your air tank. If it's too cold, I'm not sure I'd like that. Uh, it's never been a problem before. Oh, oh you're maybe... Your suit or something isn't damaged from the explosion? Not that oh. I can tell. I am colossally stupid. Agreed. Yes, I did have the tracker cartridge. It was already in the tablet, so I didn't see it. <laughs> <sighs> uh. Okay, I'll, I'll, um, Nev, the beacon is in the locker with the filters. Can you pop a battery in it and turn it on for TFA? Okay. I have the tracker and I have my... Uh, don't turn it on until Nev's told you he's got it on. Kappa, can you take okay. off your suit and throw it to me? Beacon should be on. Ah, your AC was off. Why? I didn't change it. Oh. Tracker cartridge is in, battery is in. There you go. Distance should be good zero now. Zero meters. Hmm. Uh, you need to, I think with mouse wheel, you can switch between targets who it's tracking. Ah. Oh, people. Cool. Oh, you tracking can... beacon. Oh, two kilometers. <laughs> You're a long way away. And Two cases is a long in, way in this. And the funny thing is, I was running in completely the opposite direction. Yeah, I wonder you couldn't see the flare. Oh, that's interesting. You can track each individual person, or is that just because you're near the beacon? I don't know. Um, Maybe that's something new. There was something about that. I'm not sure. Alright, so, Nev, we need to make a bunch of lockers. <laughs> yeah, I'm just smelting some iron. Oh. Uh, there's a skull on the ground out there. Oh, there is. Oh, it, oh. it's Scully fight. Yeah, there it is. There you go. Nev, uh, store your skull in... Wait, did we lose any of TFE's skulls just then? 
Uh, or should I have been keeping one. them safe? Leg Shadow spreads them all over I the am. base, so. I'm probably I have so them alive. in my suits, don't worry, they're safe. Okay. What? <laughs> hey, that's my property, give it back. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore, you died. Not your property anymore. You're not using it anymore. <laughs> So basically, Shadow's got like a belt of skulls she's wearing mm. around. Seems fitting. Uh, carrying. We don't have any furry friends here, so I gotta make do with skulls. Intimidate the terrain. Uh, yeah, yeah maybe, maybe we should actually oh, leave no. the room clear from the furnace, from lockers, just in case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The yeah, scrubber's possession is getting worse. What's Pretty it sure doing? it's hovering now. Did it? Oh yeah, it's actually moving and it hovered itself in front of the airlock. It wants to escape. It's a Roomba. <laughs> and it's close to falling over. You guys over. are seeing a very different scrubber to what I'm seeing. Is yours not moving? No, and it's sitting on top of the radiation <laughs> pipe. Okay. Well, it yes. might seem ideal either. It's wobbling in front of the microwave just oh. now. Well now that Capax picked it up it is. There we go. Behave yourself. <laughs> well, Spitz, I don't know if I trust your eyesight. Like, you did see the crops weirdly as well. I do. Which, I would normally claim a host advantage, but I'm not sure it applies when I'm the one seeing the weird stuff. Yeah. You didn't see the I giant don't. fireball. Yeah. I did see the giant fireball. You did? I thought mm. you did. Yeah, the one Nev made. Uh, not no, that not one. that one. The the pink no, sun. no, not that one. <laughs> I know. Did, did anyone actually get a good look of the explosion? Um, it I was right in my face, <laughs> and I died. Too, and so. I died. <laughs> well, I turned around and saw Nev going flying past the lander. <laughs> That's how I retrieved his That's body. Because I wanted to take the tank out to paint it, and then it exploded. <laughs> okay, now no cheaping out on on making uh, a fuel mixer. Now I'm doing it properly. After Seems. we have. Restored yeah, everything yeah. else, and I'll I'll help you out now because Shadow's Shadow's got the greenhouse sorted. Um, Shadow, if at some point you want to expand the greenhouse, feel free. If you back yet, can I uh, one point two kilometers off? away. Oh, you're really far away. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to turn the tracking beacon off so I don't run out of life support battery. You can take batteries from your tools as well. Yeah, that's what I've done to power the tracking beacon. Ah. Uh, so Nev, what I was thinking of doing was building the lockers for the storage here, and then we can expand and build the furnace away from the giant tanks. <laughs> I was thinking about putting down small tanks for uh, oxygen and volatile, unmixed, yep. Um, yep. so, and then we can have a volume pump to actually mix them properly in the right... Yes. Uh, and... I was going to suggest that the the volume pump from it onward, where we've got the fuel mix, should be in an insulated pipe, which means we're going to need to make some steel first, because you want it in an insulated pipe, otherwise the sun is going to heat it up enough that it may explode. Um, maybe? I'm not sure what the... It gets pretty toasty in here, like I've seen the temperature shift quite dramatically. I'm not certain it'll happen, but it is something that I... What was the pressure limit for small tanks anyway? Uh, 10, 20 megapascals, I think. Because I'm pretty sure the small tank I took out was like at 10, but I'm oh, not sure what eight. its temperature was. Oh wait, was. doesn't it say it in the stationpedia? Uh, are they probably? called bottles or are they tanks? Canisters. Canisters. Canister. And I somehow lost my... How did I manage that? Oh, there's high volume ca gas canisters now. Oh, there's my mining drill. Nope. Uh oh. Max oh, wait, pressure 10 megapascals. Here. Yeah. Uh, 10? 10. Uh, then it was slightly over and it probably increased as it was heating up because it came from ice. Yep. And then the volume exceeded, uh, the pressure exceeded it. Yeah, that's, that's our chest grave down there. Um, I do have a lot of oxides ice still. Yep. Where should I put that? Well, we should. We need to make new belts. Right. Is this a toolmaker? Um, yeah, toolmaker. Would it be an idea to actually make a proper room for storage? Uh, <laughs> armored <laughs> to protect yes, it from them. But and away from gases. We also need like it's also very inconvenient to have it a long way away from 
way of processing. Wow, thank you for putting that in my face. You should consider that we are still basically on a temporary base. Yeah, this is all very temporary. So maybe ah, okay. outside rooms is maybe not why it's a priority. But if it's something you want to but do... You can consider this a room, though. If it's something you want to do, feel free to do it. Like, as Capac with building his stairs and other things like that, don't don't feel that just because there's something we feel is the most important to spend stuff on. If it's basic stuff like iron and copper and gold, then it's okay to use some of it. But if it's the if it's the uh, alloys, then we probably need to discuss it as a team as to what should be spent <laughs> used first. Okay. Good enough. Like a blast shield wall or something. <laughs> <laughs> just um, yeah, iron, iron, iron is fine to, to just use. Um. But my plan my plan here, Nev, was to expand this a bit further out so we can get like maybe four cubes away from the lockers. The for explosion radius was a lot bigger than I would have ever expected, actually. But it took out the blast burners. It was like three blocks away. I think it was because so much fuel went off. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a canister full of however more, many molds go in there. But, no, no, no. Yeah. It was the canister plus the pipes plus everything oh, else yeah. that you had there. It was yeah, all of right. that fuel went off. The pipes were full as well. Yeah, right. Yeah. So a lot of gas, like a lot of fuel air mix went off. I can <laughs> see the giant fuel tanks. Yeah, yeah, all right. I forgot about the pipes. I will go fetch some iron or oh, someone yeah, else is mining here. Yeah, it's getting pretty, pretty tough to track down. Well, I think I think it's possible that TFE might not be digging quite deep enough with some of his diggings. Theoretically. Uh, he might be giving up on deposits before they're actually drained. I've returned. Well, that doesn't change how easy it is to find. No, no, but it explains some of the difficulty we have in finding more when there are lots of partially mined deposits around here. Uh, but yeah, it, to me, it'll be fine once we get the ore sensing goggles. How far away is that actually? A long way. Um, if we have the furnace up, which sort of blew up, uh, <laughs> we, we up should again. be able to make all the basic, uh, also basic, um, what's it called? Uh, alloys. Alloys, right. Uh, it escaped me just now. It escaped me five minutes ago, that's why I remembered it. And then we can progress quite quite a bit, uh, quite a bit further. We might need some more from of the basic ingots, like lead. Yeah, well, everything blew up. Of course, we have nothing anymore. But if we have lead and cobalt and uh, silver and iron, we can probably make all of it. Yeah, it's a matter of having a system that's effectively effective enough. And there are some of them that you really aren't going to be able to make with the basic furnace. We're going to have to have the advanced one to do. Oh, that's the, the basic the, one can't withstand the pressures three, required. This is three uh, ingredients. Yeah, that too. All the basic ones up to Constantine, which is the most difficult to make, should be fine. Like Astro Lawyer, what it's called, that needs a yeah. big one. Oh, uh, well, if the guy who accidentally blew me up says it'll be fine, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tanks do make it easy to find the base during the day. They do, you can see them like poking over the top of the nearby hills. Oh, this is a bit weird. So, I'm just glad we didn't lose all of our things. What's weird, Gamak? Um, this uh, decapitated head, um, backpack, tool that belt. TFE walking. Oh, that's TFE's body he got as he's crashed. Well, it's everything but his body, from what I can see. <laughs> Um, a quick suggestion, like, we were using mining belts for storage, or at least we were. Yeah. Why don't we do mining backpacks? They store way more and only cost twice the amount. Agreed. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Make it so. Oh, there's really a lot of room in this mining backpack. Yeah, good good, good spot, because I've never used the mining backpacks, backpacks before. Yeah, I tend to use it because I don't really use the backpack at all. Oh, so, see, or, uh, your backpack is your jetpack. Yeah. If I use the jetpack. Yeah, yeah oh. I never really use the jetpack at all. So, the mining backpack oh. is perfect for me. Hey, we have taken 
0.2% of the pollutant out of the planet's atmosphere. Progress. Um, that's less than I accidentally spilled, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is considerably less than you accidentally spilled. But did you say 0.2? Yeah, Nev spilled like 5%. Yep. <laughs> so Wait, the planet okay. is currently worse than what we it was when we landed. It started. It's but, become more in so, But... So, so we, just gonna do the same thing 500 more times yeah but it, it it tells me that terraforming this to the point where we can open our helmets outside is doable it's just gonna take a decent amount of work but it's not it's not like completely out of reach amounts of work at least to me hey i now have mining backpack so much storage uh just remember you don't have a jetpack if you use that which of course means if I fall in a doom pit yeah you'll have to dig up oh. you could bring your backpack with you in one of Wait, your suit slots yeah yeah I've got both yeah so you, like what I would actually do is I'd wear the jetpack and put the backpack in the jetpack actually work yeah they, there's there's backpack section can you go a level deeper <laughs> so is everybody just out there mining at the moment yep yep with me what are you up to, Nev? Um, building up a new furnace place. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hopefully it's good thing explosion we... free. Well, it's a good thing we're all off mining then. <laughs> Great, I'm the only one here at risk. Because I'm making the backpacks and doing the organization. Um... Ah. I might have a problem. My what cognition happened? is low and I'm starting to... Uh, Where suffocate. are you? Actually, I am 100 meters. I am unconscious. 150 meters from the base. you break your helmet or Can something? you give us an idea of which direction you're in? I uh, don't think so. Not reliably. Try to use the tracking. Yeah. Oh yeah. The... Oh no, oh. I got toxins. I suddenly got the message oxygen low, oxygen critical, cognition low, cognition critical. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. My oxygen tank started emptying pretty rapidly earlier. I'm not sure what that. Temperature was. changes yeah. can do that. Does anyone here have a tracker? I have a tracker. Can, can you? Can back, do you have a tracker? From where I'm underground. Uh, I think so. Can you see if you can track Shadow and see if you can find her before she dies? Um, maybe. I'm trying to save myself from toxic gases. How did you get toxic gases? I forgot to put my helmet back on before I went through the airlock. Oh. Which direction is uh, it? I gotta put the tracker in. Uh, how do you... Scroll with your mouse wheel. Uh, this way. Our meters. Save her. Oh. I think I see her. 75% health. I think there's some dirt on my screen. Uh, 50 meters. Oh, over here. Yep. I'll grab her. You grab her stuff. Being robbed as well. How dare. <laughs> Come back. Which way home? Uh, uh, this way. Come on, come on, come on. Don't you die on me! You can't tell me what to do. She is wildly flailing her arms about. She must be very angry. Whoa! Whoa! That wasn't good. Let me grab. Let me grab your oh. hand. Oh. I think I'm regaining consciousness. Maybe. Hang on. I need to. Threw it on the ground. I think I might be regaining. Uh oh. I'm not part of your system. Hello? What the? I appear to be suffocating. Where are you? You just vanished. Wait, where are you? you were just... What? I, I don't know where I am. And I took your helmet I... off because you were inside and safe, and then you vanished. Well, should it... Wait, hang on. Wait, Black is 150 meters away again. What? Like and I don't have any of my spot. material. I don't have my helmet. I don't have my tracking thing. But you guys killed me. 
<laughs> no, no, you killed yourself by teleporting. Yeah. Without proper authorization. Also, I am unconscious again. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. It's a quantum black shadow. Power low. I am freezing. I am. Well. I, I'm not doing well. I. I took your helmet off to. He like to let you gain rec regain consciousness because you were in a breathable atmosphere. How close to dead are you? Sure. Uh, fifty-one percent. Okay, so there's a chance that with my jetpack I can get you back in time. But put put the helmet on. I'm bringing the I'm helmet. Dead. What? I don't know why I just went from fifty to zero. Oh. Oh. Well, one of you two grab the corpse. Oh, I can because I'm here now. Bring her back home. Uh, which way back to base? We need <laughs> this way. We need to we need to put her co-ops inside the greenhouse. Yep. So that shadow can change into so that the new shadow can change into the old shadow's equipment. How far can you throw corpses? Please you don't use, try that with my corpse. How if you long use is a jet piece pack, of string? <laughs> you can probably get some good good range on it. That's really annoying. Yeah. Wait, I've just realised something. What? This means Splits is the only person who hasn't died. Is anyone surprised? Can't yes. keep doing this. Well, I did figure out how to build a bomb. <laughs> Kabak, why did you go inside when you knew we were coming back? Oh, it's that shadow what? inside. I'm on the roof. No. Oh, it's shadow I'm inside. inside. I saw orange inside and I assumed it was Kabak. <laughs> seemed a fair assumption at the time. When you're at the supermarket oh! and you see an Ow! orange, do you assume it's why? me as well? The <laughs> <laughs> Why did you slam the door on me? What? I need to come inside. I've got Shadow's helmet. Oh, oh. That'll be fine. Ah, uh, We've not had a good day. Nev's trying to bomb me. TFE's trying to crush me. Just because I'm the only one who hasn't died. I could teleport it and suffocate it. Zero days without an accident. <laughs> Shadow, here's your helmet. You should put up a Thank sign. You. Oh, and the sun's rising. Well, on that delightful note, I think it's time to end. Get by your own skull. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're excited about something. Well, next time we are going to attempt again to build a furnace and hopefully Nev won't uh, bring down the entire planet with us. Well, no promises. <laughs> so that's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. That's it next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.